So in the last blog, I was telling you guys about how I was pitching Dream Factory at the Banff World Media Festival. Well, as I mentioned, this is absolutely one of my all-time favorite festivals for any number of reasons. I mean, we really get a kick out of going there. Banff World Media Festival is one of our all-time favorite pitch festivals. And one reason why we love it so much is they really have amazing talent in their presentations. So when they had a presentation with Henry Winkler, Mark and I were there. And not only were we there, we sat at the main table, meaning center front, right next to Henry Winkler's wife. But I worked with Henry. I worked with him on The Water Boy, if you remember that Adam Sandler movie. Now, I was the illustrator on the movie, uh, so I did all the storyboards, I designed all the character, uh, um, the, the team logos, mascots, and uh, the tattoos that were in it. And Mark designed the tattoo that was on Henry Winkler's butt of Roy Orbison. So Mark wanted to have a moment with him. So I wanted to pull, a, do a little gag with, with Henry. And, and since I was a speaker that year, I set up with the, uh, the promoters or the, the people who produced the show to sit at the front main table with Henry's wife. So we go over, uh, I sit with his wife, lovely lady, and introduce myself. And I, and I tell her that, look, I worked with Henry, um, and, uh, and I did some artwork for him on the show, but I never got a chance to meet. This is what I'd like to do. What do, you, what do you th how do you think he would, he would feel or react to this? She goes, oh, my God, he'll love it. You know, and he'll totally play along with you. And at the end, Henry Winkler took questions. So, of, cor of course, Mark is the first one with his hand up like this. And I have my phone ready because I figure this is going to be amazing. Luckily, Jeannie videotaped uh, the entire thing. So uh, I wanted to share this with you guys and, and show you how great he was and, and what we did. And one thing, you can't tell a whole lot at the beginning of this, but I also wear these really crazy pants. Um, uh, I'm kind of known for this at, at events really unbelievably garishly bright colors and cartoon characters and everything. So that'll make sense to you when you hear what he says to me when uh, we first start talking while he's on stage. So enjoy. Uh, the house lights, yes. maybe, can we do that? Can we change yes. the lighting? Yes, the lighting is on us. It needs to be on the end. Is there anybody? Yeah. Did they go to lunch? <laughs> <laughs> anybody okay. have a question? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. What is your name? Henry, my name is Mark Simon. Okay, Mark Simon, you have got courage beyond. Look at your face. <laughs> oh, Mark. Believe it or not, this is relevant to what I want to say to you. Okay. You and I have something in common. What is that, sir? Your butt. <laughs> you have a phone in your back pocket, too? Water boy. Water boy. That's my artwork. Oh, no I designed that Roy Orbison tattoo that was on your butt. <laughs> Ms. Bless, I have to say to you, honest to God, I cannot tell you, no matter where I am in the world, people ask me, do I still have that tattoo? <laughs> but he is on my iPod. <laughs> it's on my website. Wow. And I actually use it as my claim to fame that I wow. have a tattoo on uh, Fonzo's what butt. A pleasure to meet you. <laughs> wow. Was that unbelievable? Yes. But Mark more than outdid himself and made a very lasting impression for everybody in the room. There must have been uh, maybe 300 people in the room. It was standing room only. Because the funny part was, I mean, not only was it a great moment that I happened to capture on video, but for the rest of the conference, and I think there was three days left to go, everywhere we went, people stopped us and said, oh my God, you're the guy. You are the guy that talked to Henry Winkler. You're the one that drew the tattoo. So once again, Mark is a PR genius.